Hi guys, it's been raining all day today, um, Saturday in Ohio, but before all the natural light left, I wanted to jump on YouTube and um, make a video. So salutations, I hope everyone had an awesome new year, I know I did, and um, I'm just ready to start 2015 just finding my happy, um, continuing to do what I'm doing and just making myself better. But that's not what this um, video is about. I really don't do New Year's resolutions or anything like that. I just make goals, one goal at a time. I focus on it to achieve it, and then I move on to the next. So, um, but regardless, I'm feeling really positive for the new year, and I can't wait to see what things it's going to teach me and what things I'm going to grow and learn from. But this video, if you can't tell, my hair is down, and I'm supposed to be doing my um, protective hairstyling for the winter. Well, what happened was, obviously I'm not doing that. Um, I decided to get my hair flat ironed again um, for New Year's and by doing so, my curl pattern is even looser and if you could tell by the ends of my hair, I can feel it, it's really limp. Um, it, there, I have to scrunch it to get some type of curl pattern, but basically, um, yeah, I have full blown heat damage. I've transitioned um, from relaxer to natural. It took me about five years back in 2011. And this, I don't see as a setback. I wanted to wear my hair straight. Um, I think I should have the capability and the ability to do that. Unfortunately, it made my curl pattern even looser than when I first flat ironed and after a year of no heat in November of last year. So um, yeah, I decided to <laughs> do some type of wash and go. And um, yeah, I just have a lot of straight pieces. But I'm going to transition again, um, this time from my heat damage hair to my back to my uh, natural curly hair. So even with the lower temperature of the flat iron that I did for New Year's, it didn't matter. My hair is extremely fine and thin, so no matter what temperature of heat I've come to the conclusion, it is going to... Um, it's going to make it's going to take an effect of my hair so um, I decided because of the heat damage and everything that I'm just gonna have fun with my hair I'm not going to hide it up in a bun if I want to wear a bun I will if I don't I won't if I want to wear a braid I will so uh, my my winter challenge of just protective styling I'm not going to do so what happened was I got heat damage I flat ironed my hair twice at the end of 2014 it loosened my curl pattern so I'm just going to enjoy my hair um, some people have different um, definitions of damage to natural hair um, my hair is still very healthy I actually even got a trim um, with my latest flat iron in the new year um, my hair is healthy, it's just that my curl pattern is different. Um, I'm now definitely um, a 3A, and my ends <laughs> are basically straight. Um, because of my fine hair and the heat damage, when I did this wash and go, I honestly didn't really put gel in it. I just used the um, curling souffle from Shea Moisture because I figured it was light enough and will give me some shine. But yeah, I, in my eyes, my hair is still healthy. I just changed my curl pattern. And the only way to rectify that, I'm going to transition again. And every couple of months, just cut a little bit off at the bottom as my hair grows up, grows out of my scalp curly again. So I'm not sad about it. It is what it is. But I did want to um, give you guys an update on that since obviously with some of my pictures on Instagram and things, you've noticed that I haven't been wearing my hair and protective styles. But that's all. I wanted to jump on and say hey. Have a good weekend, guys, and see you next week. Bye.